Well, here we are. We have our brand new entranceway. It's due to be black topped this coming week. It's ready to go and very shortly after that we will start landscaping around it and around the buildings that you see spread out as you see your towards the woodlands here. We see three of them. The fourth is actually behind this one directly behind me. Four beautiful homes, each of which will house ten wonderful seniors. So here we are. This is actually the main entranceway into the first of the buildings off of the porch. Come on into our home. This is the main room, the living room, dining room. We have a little entertainment center here. As you can see, it's really tall and very bright and airy. It gives you a really wonderful sense of space and expansiveness. As we look over to the kitchen, the kitchen is awaiting the appliances. It has the tile floor down in place, some counters and cabinets, and a very extensive uh, hood and exhaust system over the, the side of the six ring stove that is going to be placed here. It's going to be a dishwasher, really large uh, refrigerators. Behind it we have a pantry in which the residents will be able to store dry goods and goodies for themselves. And from there we're going to, we're going to take a little look at the bedrooms. So here we have a typical single Single bedroom. It's 13 and a half feet wide. The whole suite is about almost 21 feet deep. Half of that is actually the bedroom space, the other half is the bathroom and closet, and of course the entranceway. The, uh, the bathrooms are all set up <laughs> so that they're ADA compliant. They, they have uh, seats in the, in the shower stall, so that if you wish to, to seat, Sit yourselves down whilst you're, you're taking a shower, you can do so. They have grab bars and pull bars in all the appropriate places. And all the colors are, we had our own interior designer, for those of you who know him, <coughs> Mr. Dakshina. All the houses, each of the four houses are done in a different scheme, all matching and coordinating. The bedrooms all have two windows to the outside. Uh, Today is not the prettiest view through these windows, uh, but once we get these landscapes, it will be absolutely gorgeous. Each room has its own little air conditioner. These rooms are designed basically to uh, mirror a typical modest hotel room. And as in a hotel room, you have control of your own temperature. The overall house is, is central, air conditioned, but we thought that our residents would appreciate being able to completely control the temperature in their own individual bedrooms. This is, these are all service closets. They have air conditioning equipment, electrical equipment, phone equipment, uh, uh, mop rooms, all service orientated. This side down here, we have a little office. Each of the four buildings will have an office, an office space in it. Quite, quite modestly sized. As you come to the next room, this is where you're going to find the laundry facilities. Each building will have its own laundry room, and in each room there will be two washers and two dryers, both front loaders to make it nice and easy to get your clothes in and out. Each room will then, each house will have a general purpose room. And this room will serve several functions in, in each, each building. One will become a chapel, uh, one will probably be a library, one will probably be a computer lab, and an activities room in the fourth. We, we want to have a different specified communal activity in each of the four houses to encourage the residents to move back and forth between the four houses so that they have a chance to get out and meet their neighbors who just live across the way. So each building has a really nicely proportioned uh, porch that will be screened in so you can sit and relax and enjoy the, the wonderful Florida weather in the spring and fall. It's starting to get a little warm right now in the summer. And off of each of these 
porch is there's going to be a nice brick paver uh, little patio for everybody to, to sit and relax. Between these two buildings, which are actually close to, towards each other, they, those two patios will actually, will actually meet. And this will be the area that we see all the large-scale outdoor activities taking place. If we had picnics or something like that, we'd probably do it out here. There will end up being trees, nice shade trees, and beautiful landscaping to make this place just ever more attractive. Towards the, the south of the property, you'll see the, the rich, dense woodlands that go down towards the stream. And then off to the side, we have our water retention pond, which we are going to start the process of landscaping around it. And we're going to create this really nice little walking park that goes around it. It'll be really delightful, delightful spot. Just perfect.